I am now doing my own haul. As I said in a Twitter poll, what would you prefer? All my own red books or a haul? So naturally I've done neither and doing it on haul. So right down here there are 30 something books and they're probably not all going to fit in one bag so we'll have to see how I get on when I give them away. There's all your books. Thank you camera woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit jewelry, so we're just gonna have to leave it like that. So the first set I'm gonna go through are some non fiction yeah, non fiction ones. And they are the Argon Fiends, My Heroes, Our Zoo, and All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I might even do a little tally on the side, maybe, I don't know. The next pile are my classics. I have the Jingle Book, The Great Gatsby. Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, which I know isn't quite a classic, but it's half a classic. The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick, which I had at DNF. And Atonement by Ian McEwan. Pretty much every single book is unread, and I just don't have the time or the space for them anymore, which is why I'm getting rid of them. So, the next ones I have are just some odd bod ones, and they are Black and Blue by Ian Rankin. Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. And The Loney by Andrew Michael Hurley, which I have reviewed, so I'll leave a link down below. Pile number four is What Kind of Mother Are You by Paula Daly. The Turning Point by Freya North. The Accident Season by Moira Foley Doyle. Chocolat by Joanne Harris. And The Almost Moon by Alice Sebold. The next one I have is again just an large bodge pile. The Universe vs Alex Woods by Gavin Extance. Always and Forever by Kathy Kelly. The Life and Death of Sophie Sark by Anna North. The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro. I presume I'm saying that wrong. And A Seaside Affair by Fern Britton. This last one I have, no it's not the last one, it's the second last one, is just series that I cannot be bothered to be invested in. That's Angel and Demons by Dan Brown. Outlander or Cross Stitch by Diana Gabaldon, which is actually a really old edition. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And the first four books in Bernard Cornwell's Horseman series, which I did only just get about a month ago. Fun fact, I thought that was Bernard Cromwell, not Corn. I did as well. I thought it was Cromwell because I thought, ha, that's quite funny if he's a, if he's a historical writer, but no, no, I don't know. No. Oh my god. I'm not even going to attempt to pick all of these up here. It's not going to go very well. And the last pile is mainly romance and that is The Red House by Mark Haddon. I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. The Girl You Left Behind by Jojo Moyes. And I also have Mercy and Second Glance by Jodie Pickle, or Jodie Pickle, however you say her name. So there we have it, that's 30 or so books to get rid of. I don't know how or when I'm going to get rid of them, I just know that I don't have the time or the space for them in my life or room anymore. So if you've read any of those, I am really sorry, but they're just not for me at the minute. And I think that's it, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon with another video. Bye! Are you going to attempt a thumbnail? Stop by picking them up, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to manage it. I'll take a photo of you with oh your stash. Oh my god. Stash.